welcome to FROST, the Frankfurt Robotics Science Team. We are a student team based at the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences in Germany. Here at FROST, we develop Mars rovers to take part at international competitions like the well-known European Rover Challenge. FROST was founded in 2018. Since then, FROST has already taken part in the European Rover Challenge four times and is constantly developing as a team and improving its rovers. FROST currently has nine active members. Together with Jonas and Lukas, we are responsible for the organization and management decisions. Due to the small team size, some members take on double roles. In addition to organizing the team, I am also responsible for communication with sponsors and public relations. Jonas is in charge of mechanical development as hardware lead. Lukas is head of software development at Frost. Electronics development is in the hand of Hengwei. For us, as a student team, the practical work on the rover is an important contrast to the theory from the lectures. It allows us to directly apply what we have learned in the field of engineering and therefore improve our skills. The European Rover Challenge gives us new goals every year to improve our rovers. The competition also offers the opportunity to exchange ideas with other universities and meet industrial partners. The tasks of the ERC are centered around carrying out an unmanned Mars mission. We have to prepare our rovers for tasks such as gathering surface and deep samplings, do maintenance work and navigate autonomously. In addition, the use of a drone for exploration is planned in order to discover interesting areas. We are therefore pleased to present our new rover generation Eros and Drone Icarus, with which we will participate at the ERC 2025. To give you a better impression of the current development, I will hand over to our development leaders Jonas and Lukas. Let's start by looking at some earlier rovers we've built. Our last rover, Ares, had tracks instead of wheels, which worked well but had trouble on steep inclines. As you can see, the high center of gravity combined with the stiff dampeners necessary to keep the chain, te chain tension caused the rover to tip over easily. Because of these issues, we have created a new rover named Eros with an adaptive suspension system. Eros has a four-wheel drive system with custom cycloil gearboxes integrated in the wheels. Not only can each wheel be steered independently, it can also be adjusted in height. This unique feature sets Eros apart from the competition. To adapt to rough terrain, we use force sensors on each wheel. They detect the terrain shape and allow dynamic adjustment of the suspension. From the software side, the control can be manual or automated. An onboard inertial measurement unit stabilizes the platform by adjusting the height of each module in real time. In addition, the pitch and roll axis of the rover can be controlled manually. Can we see this unique locomotion system in action? Unfortunately not. Eros isn't fully operational because of delivery delays. But we continue testing features with Ares, especially our digital emergency stop system. Let's take a look at how the emergency stop app works using Ares. Here we can see the rover driving on slopes and turning. Now the emergency stop button is pressed and all systems are stopped. Our rover is designed in modules, making it easier to add or replace parts or even migrate them to a new rover. Here with us is Hengwei, head of electronics. Hengwei, can you explain what is special about our energy system? Sure. Our rover energy system, or RES for short, uses custom 48 volt battery packs that can be easily replaced. It also features a digital emergency system to safely shut down critical components of the rover quickly if needed. What are the changes since last year? Last year, the newly introduced system ran into serious issues that caused key power control units to malfunction. 
We've since solved the problem with the help from an industry partner specializing in DC-DC converters. Additionally, we've added a smart battery management system to monitor battery conditions and control their connection to the rover in preparation for the implementation of battery hot swapping. Thank you, Henry. The energy system is key to all our subsystems, including our robotic arm. Jonas, can you explain what is special about our arm? We have spent quite an effort in improving the control loop and usability of it. Each axis of the manipulator is powered by a brushless DC motor, while magnetic encoder provides position feedback. The use of slip rings on some axes enable infinite rotation. With this configuration, the arm performs high speed yet precise operations. Here's a look at it doing maintenance. The arm can also be used for scientific missions, such as probing and surface sampling. For the science task, the manipulator uses a probe to detect pH levels. Eros provides enough space and power for scientific payloads in the rear of the chassis. We also developed the deep drill unit for collecting deep soil samples. It uses a 1000 Newton meter impact drill to reach depths of up to 30 centimeters. And here's Jeldrik, working on sensor integration for our rover. Right, I'm working on LiDAR integration. It will help with localization and improve our ability to detect and avoid obstacles. That's a big step for our autonomy stack. And you also improved our cameras? Yes, we've integrated cameras with variable bitrate to optimize our streaming. This lets us help balance image quality and bandwidth in real time. That's an important improvement for our remote operation, especially when the available bandwidth varies with multiple concurrent wireless networks. Sensors and cameras on the rover are great, but sometimes we need a bird's eye view. That's where our drone comes in. Adrian, can you tell us more about it? Icarus helps with navigation and identifying sampling locations. It uses a quadrotor frame with 10-inch props, a Pixar Fly controller, and a Raspberry Pi for image processing and autonomous navigation. Let's see how it flies. The system is built on top of DPX4 flight controller, which guarantees the fundamental function of Icarus, such as the communication or the avionics. Our custom software implements the autonomous functions that we want Icarus to fill. From a software perspective, we are running custom ROS2 nodes to communicate with the drone and trigger its autonomy. And of course, safety remains a priority. Icarus features an emergency landing system, triggered either by the operator or the autonomy during navigation issues or connection loss. We developed a ground station for the drone, which we can use to control the autonomous functions, set mission parameters, or perform an emergency landing if necessary. Additionally, the remote control also allows the operator a manual override at any time or to use a kill switch if really necessary. Thanks, Adrian. Together, Eros and Icarus form a highly capable exploration platform, combining rugged mechanics, modular electronics and integrated autonomy. We are proud of what we have achieved and we look forward to the competition at the ERC 2025. Thanks to our industry partners in financial and material support. <laughs> Looks like it's time for a recharge, just like our robots.